Well, hello from Denver, Colorado. This might be the only time I go snowboarding, so I'm gonna make a count. I got my bags, I got my gear. Now I'm just waiting for my buddies to arrive. We're celebrities now. So I think it's six to 30 right now. My alarm just went off. Not sure if the other guys are up. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some snowboarding. But first, breakfast. What you got? I got, I got eggs. You got our boiled eggs? That's all I got. We got the, the coffee situation. This is, this is the right way to start a snowboarding trip. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool today. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so easy. So cold. <laughs> it's so freaking cold. So windy up here. His face is not exactly covered, so I feel <laughs> bad for Danny. But man, we are near the top and it's like crazy windy. It's survival mode. <laughs> like, even with all the layers, it doesn't do anything. It's, it's like super windy. It's going all the way through. This is gonna be fun. It better be. <laughs> Moguls, oh man, with the high altitude, just not enough oxygen up here, gasping for air, oh, but ending off the day with a bang. you can call that a day two wrap. Um, apologies if I didn't get a lot of good footage. It was kind of hard to take video out there, especially with it being insanely cold. So about like negative 15 to negative 20 degrees Celsius up there in the mountains. So to take my hands out of the gloves, to use the GoPro or the camera uh, while snowboarding was pretty tough to do. It was a tall order, but I did the best I could. Um, overall, I'll, I'll say that, and I think uh, Danny and Dave agree with me that Breckenridge Ridge wasn't too impressive. Uh, the runs weren't that unique. Uh, really, there for beginners, I felt like really wide open runs, but not a lot of variety in terrain. So we're excited for tomorrow. Day two is a different mountain, um, so we'll see you on the slopes. Day two of snowboarding in Colorado. All right, guys, we've made it to the back bowls of Vale. We're not really sure what's ahead of us. Welcome to Vale. Feeling it. It's gonna be a workout today. Oh my gosh. speed coming down, but the powder was impeccable. Open up all the mats. So I hope this is a good kind of wow. Wow, moguls!
to water here. three more days there and yeah. probably just kept exploring the Easily. whole time. In terms of yeah the terrain and the views, um, it just yeah it just blew Breckenridge out of the water. So Vale just seems to have like a ton of stuff everywhere and I think there's just so much terrain you could just spend your whole day exploring even if the conditions were bad. I feel like because this is my second time basically going to Breckenridge and Breckenridge was great last time because of the snow. Right. Like that was pretty much it. We jumped into the trees, we had a great time. Uh, without the snow, I don't want anything to do with the trees. <laughs> they're sharp, they're pointy. Um, so, yeah, I think I think if you got good snow, Rocky Ridge is a good option, but otherwise, Vale is, Vail is awesome. Let's do it again sometime. Until next time. Well, that's a wrap. Just say goodbye to Dave and Danny, and we're back at the Denver airport. We had a ton of fun snowboarding and skiing out here at Vale and Breckenridge, although I have to say that Vale definitely gets my thumbs up as the way better resort, in my opinion. Um, and I think the last thing I'll say is that the altitude was a real thing out here. I didn't think it would affect us, but uh, having some experience in Peru, it was real. I mean, from tingly fingers to headaches um, to waking up randomly in the middle of the night and being super thirsty and dry, all those things kind of impacted me especially. Um, but yeah, think about that if you're coming to Colorado but still a great place to come and ski and snowboard. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. More to come for sure. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon on Going Awesome Places.